on the Bill and Bill thing, but it's true. It's true. Remember, folks, when Parcells left the Patriots in 96, he left the Pats, they get to the Super Bowl, Bill and Kraft, we all know what happened there. You know, they a lot of issues. Kraft was a new owner. You know, he didn't trust Bill. Bill didn't want to be told what to do by any owner, especially a, especially a novice. And remember, Bill got hired by the old owner, not by Kraft. Keep that in mind. The job Bill wanted was the giant job. Reeves got fired, and Bill wanted to come back coach the Giants. He didn't want to go to the Jets. He wanted to coach the Giants. But and wanting to marry wanted him in a worse way. But but George did not. And remember what I told you 15 minutes ago. In his contract, George could pick the coach. Not Wellington. It's hard to believe in it. The owner doesn't pick, the GM does. And Wellington didn't want to step on George's toes anyway, because he knew if he brought Bill in, George was out. But George and George saved the franchise before Bill got there in 79. But George didn't want Bill. Bill knew that. Wasn't going to win a power struggle. So he went to the Jets. And and George got fossil. That's maybe another mistake by George. People you didn't see that in the show either. But they're not going to they're not going on to talk about this kind of stuff. That's all there is to it. They're just not doing it. And you know, I just you know, when you were doing sports, let me get the, let me say this. When you were doing sports, and I know I'm getting into the New York thing, but this is I'm inter- I'm into this. When you were doing sports talk in New York in that period, as Mike and I were between 88, 89, and 97 or 8, and you're doing the football giants, they won a Super Bowl, they had Parcells, they had Belichick, they had LT, they had George. They had the Maras. They had. Th- th- this is a gargantuan team in New York, bigger than the Yankees before the Yankees got good with Tory. This was a gargantuan team, and there was a lot of personalities. And remember, my old partner. I love him. But my old partner. He and Parcells were tight, very tight. So Parcells is coaching the Giants in the late eighties. They put a new show on the radio, and Parcells and Mike are very, very tight. You got the GM there, who is a little iffy with Georgia time, with Bill anyway. He says, hold on now. So Bill and Mike have a relationship. Who's the other guy? What's his name? Let me call him up. That's what happened. So we had that. I had George, Mike had Bill. And it's funny, to be fair, all the years that I knew George pretty well, Never once, and this is why George is a classy guy, never once in those eight or nine years when I was doing sports talk in New York, did he ever give me a story that was current to break. Hey, you know what? I'm going to announce this at five o'clock, say it at three. Chris, we're going to trade this guy for this guy. You didn't get it for me? Go with it. Never once in eight years did George Ever. He told me these stories about Belichick and Bill and all that long after the fact. Never once did George ever tell me anything. Never. Because he wanted to play fair to the rest of the media. And how many times did George win the good guy award in the NFL from the media perspective? Go look it up. Ten times in a row? Little history lesson. The Eagles and your calls, hour three. You're listening.